Years ago, it was a mystery to everyone how Jeffrey Epstein, a high school maths teacher who had falsified his credentials, been dismissed for subpar work, and then been fired again from his position at an investment firm, could manage to live in such luxury. However, Epstein was hiding a much darker secret behind these closed doors. Terrific guy. Epstein, who was brought up in New York, spent the middle of the 1970s there as a maths and physics teacher at the exclusive Dalton School. While he never received a degree from a university, he had personally studied maths and physics. According to rumors, the parent of one of his pupils was so pleased that he connected Epstein with an influential partner at Wall Street investment giant Bear Stearns. The business, which managed client assets of value of more than $1 billion, 800 million pounds, became successful right away. Epstein quickly started spending his riches, reportedly on the largest private residence in New York, a ranch in New Mexico, and a mansion in Florida, as well as entertaining politicians, artists, and celebrities. But he also allegedly made an effort to maintain his privacy, avoiding social gatherings and restaurant dinners. Despite never being married, he dated ladies including Miss Sweden finalist Eva Anderson Dubin, as well as Robert Maxwell's daughter Ghislaine. I've known Jeff for 15 years. Terrific guy. Donald Trump provided a quote to New York Magazine for a shot on Epstein. He's a lot of fun to be with. It is even said that he likes beautiful women as much as I do, and many of them are on the younger side. Not a billionaire? The money manager claimed, in spite of several stories to the contrary, that he was not a billionaire in a one-page financial statement submitted by Epstein's attorneys on the 15th of July. He's still quite affluent, though. According to the report given to Federal District Judge Richard M. Berman, Epstein's net worth exceeds $559 million. Berman expressed his concern in court about the disclosure's lack of verification and audit. Epstein has over $56 million in cash and roughly $14 million in bonds as of June 30, 2019. According to the disclosure paperwork, Epstein has around $195 million in hedge funds and private equity, as well as approximately $112 million in equities. The paper also lists Epstein's holdings, which range from New Mexico to France. His New York City residence is reportedly worth $77 million, but Epstein's application, which claims numbers are based on a June 1, 2019 real estate tax bill, estimates the property's value to be closer to $55 million. The value of Epstein's Palm Beach property is roughly $12 million. The prices of his remaining properties are listed as follows, $17 million on a ranch in New Mexico, $8 million for a home close to the Arc de Triomphe in Paris, and $85 million for a home in the U.S. Virgin Islands, which is said to comprise the whole Little St. James Island. Conviction and Plea Deal Epstein's first accusation dates back to 2005, when the parents of a 14-year-old girl reported Epstein to Florida authorities, alleging that he had abused their daughter in his Palm Beach residence. Photos of females were discovered all throughout the house during a police check of the residence. Billionaire capitalist Jeffrey Epstein executed crimes for over 20 years while remaining undetected. Epstein, a master of deception, recruited young and vulnerable girls into a worldwide human trafficking network, one of the largest ever discovered, exchanging women as assets among a number of his wealthy and influential colleagues. However, in 2008, Epstein pled guilty to several sex offenses involving children after being presented with strong evidence, including the testimony of 30 females. He received an 18-month jail term, during which he was permitted to return on work release to his workplace for 12 hours a day, a total of six days per week, avoiding federal charges that might have resulted in life in prison. After 13 months, he was granted probationary release. According to the Miami Herald, federal prosecutor Alexander Acosta, who served as the Trump administration's Secretary of Labor, reached a plea deal to conceal the breadth of his crimes and put a stop to the FBI investigation regarding whether there were further victims or more influential individuals involved. It was dubbed the deal of the century by the news outlets. On the New York Sex Offenders Register, Epstein has been categorized as a Category 3 offender since 2008.
He was at an elevated risk of reoffending since it was a lifelong label. However, even after being found guilty, Epstein kept his assets and properties. Famous connections. Since Epstein's arrest, his numerous influential ties have come under examination. President Donald Trump, Prince Andrew, and former President Bill Clinton, who traveled on Epstein's private plane, are just a few of the renowned people that Epstein counts among his friends. Since the fresh claims against Epstein surfaced, Trump and Clinton have both defended themselves and denied any knowledge of his misdeeds. Les Wexner, CEO of L Brands Corporation, the organization that owns Victoria's Secret, is also receiving attention. Wexner's assets were managed by Epstein's money management company for many years, as the two men developed a tight bond, according to Bloomberg. According to a Wexner representative, he cut off communication with Epstein over 12 years ago. Nonetheless, all of Epstein's acquaintances have denied their connection or claimed to have cut ties after discovering the horrific misdeeds he has done. Victim States According to Virginia's statement, it was revealed that Prince Andrew, the Queen's third child, was among the elites that Jeffrey traded these helpless women to. Virginia Jufrey, an Epstein accuser at the age of 17, was forced to have intercourse with Prince Andrew during the early years of the 2000s. Nevertheless, Prince Andrew strongly denied having intercourse with her and stated he doesn't remember a picture of them together being taken in London. On July 6, 2019, Epstein was taken into custody in New York after returning from Paris on a private plane. Authorities apparently wanted to seize his New York house, the scene of several of his alleged crimes. Epstein persistently pleaded not to be guilty of the accusations against him and denied any misconduct. After being freed, the businessman resumed his nasty behavior and abused numerous other little children. Finally, four months ago, police detained him once more. He was facing the possibility of spending his whole life in prison due to more sex offense charges. Bail or not? Prosecutors argued during the bail hearing that Epstein should not be released from custody until he is prosecuted for the alleged sexual abuse of several minor girls, claiming that he poses a flight risk and a danger to his accusers. According to the Associated Press, authorities who searched Epstein's New York house also found piles of cash and dozens of diamonds in addition to an expired passport bearing his picture and a false identity. At the hearing, Two women who claimed to have been assaulted by Epstein spoke, pleading with the judge to deny him bail and warning that he poses a threat to public safety. During Edwards's speech, Courtney Wilde, one of those women who stated that Epstein had molested her when she was just 14 years old, also spoke. She stated, If you're a victim of Jeffrey Epstein, you already know what I know. Until he's in jail, he won't stop sexually abusing kids. He won't get away this time, as long as the victims come forward, I promise. Prosecutors informed Berman last week that a number of other women had come forth to accuse Epstein of abusing them while they were minors. Additionally, according to the prosecution, Epstein paid two individuals, including one former employee, a total of $350,000 in an alleged effort to influence them. They claimed that the payments were made last year. At the bail hearing, Epstein's attorneys argued that the accused should be permitted to wait for trial at his Manhattan home while being electronically monitored. They said they will make a move to dismiss the case and claimed Epstein did not engage in any other offenses after entering a plea of guilty in 2008. He was being held in the Metropolitan Correctional Center in New York after the court rejected his request for bail. He was briefly hospitalized in July for what were widely believed to be neck injuries but neither the jail administration nor his attorneys would publicly comment on this. It was made apparent during his last court hearing on July 31st that he will serve a year in jail before going to trial no earlier than the summer of 2020. According to the prosecution, there should be no delay and a speedy trial is in everyone's best interest. However, a month later, Epstein was discovered dead in his cell at the Metropolitan Correctional Facility in New York. According to Brown, the cause of death was determined to be self-harm, but many now wonder if it was indeed murder. However, both the victims, Virginia Roberts Jeffrey and Courtney Wilde, are committed to making sure that Epstein's horrific secrets are not forgotten along with him.
and that everyone engaged in the sex ring faces justice. The Jeffrey Epstein saga is the tale of the most successful child sex trafficker in the world who, although operating for decades mostly undetected, managed to avoid public scrutiny, legal repercussions, and ultimately justice by passing away before going to trial. What are your opinions on this? Do you stand by the victims or do you think Jeffrey had served his case through his death?